tired. I just want to greet all the sections that I'm handling. Especially the Nine Marangal, Nine Matapag, Nine Magalang, Nine Masipag, Nine Matulungin, and Nine Mahaga. Okay, great nine students. I will be discussing today, given the zeros, we will find the quadratic function. So I have here two examples. If the given zeros are whole numbers and fractions, we will use this method. First, make this as factors. So we have two zeros, x equals 3 and x equals negative 2 thirds. So make this as factors. So uh, 3 becomes 0 if we're going to make this as factors. So minus 3 both sides. So this is now 0 equals x minus 3. So this is your first factor. For the second factor, you have cross multiplied this denominator if you have fractions. 3 times x, you have 3x equals copy the numerator. Then make this negative 2 as 0. How? By its opposite side plus 2, both sides. So this is now 0. Then the next factor is 3x plus 2. So you have two factors. Then we will, do, we will use FOIL method. So FOIL method, you need to multiply these two. You have y equals x minus 3 times 3x plus 2. So using FOIL method, you will multiply the first terms. So you have x times 3x. You have y equals 3x squared. For outer, you have x times positive 2, you have positive 2x. And for inner, you have negative 3 times positive 3x, you have negative 9x. And for last, you have negative 3 times positive 2, so this is negative 6. Combine the outer inner part, so you have y equals 3x squared. Since different sign, you need to subtract, then copy the sign of the higher absolute value. We have negative 7x, then copy negative 6. So this is now your quadratic function out of these two zeros. Okay, so we use the factors and point method. What about if your example is like this? You have their radicals. So we will use different method. We will use the sum and the product of the roots or zeros. So the first zero is 3 plus the square root of 3 over 2. And the second zero is 3 minus the square root of 3 over 2. Just separate the two. Then we need to get the sum of zeros. So, the sum of the zeros is 3 plus the square root of 3 over 2 plus 3 minus the square root of 3 over 2. So, how are we going to get the sum? First, copy the same denominator which is 2. And then 3 plus 3, so this is now 6. And then since these two have different signs, this will cancel out. So your sum is 6 divided by 2, 3. Okay, then get the product of zeros. Then this will become... Uh, 3 plus square root of 3 over 2 times 3 minus square root of 3 over 2. So in multiplying fractions, we will multiply the numerators and the denominator. So for denominator, we have 2 times 2, it is 4. And for numerators, since the binomials have different signs, we will just use FL. First and last. So our first is 3 
times three, nine. Then our last is square root of three times square root of three. So negative square root of nine. But what is the square root of nine? So square root of nine is three. So you have nine minus three. Get is the square root of this. Copy over four. So this is now. 9 minus 3, 6 over 4. Lowest term, get the lowest term. So this is 3 over 2. Dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. So the lowest term is 3 over 2. So what is now the quadratic function given the sum and the products? So the quadratic function is y equals x squared minus sum x plus product. Okay. So this is now y equals x squared minus your sum is 3. So substitute 3 here. Copy x. Then your product is 3 over 2. Since you have fraction, we need integral coefficient for quadratic function. So multiply everything by the denominator which is 2. So our final quadratic function is y equals 2x squared minus 3 times 2, 6x, then 3, uh, 2 divided by 2 cancel. So this is now plus 3. So this is now your quadratic function with a least integral coefficient. Okay. So comment below your learnings. Uh, what have you learned from this video? Then make your own example and then put it below the comment section.